It's back to Suncorp for the first time in a month for the Raw. And with five of their last seven to be played in their home states, Brisbane have everything in their favour to make the finals in Robbie Fowler's debut season. They do, of course, come up against one of the form teams of the competition at the moment. Western Sydney Wanderers have enjoyed something of a rebirth under John Paul de Marini, unbeaten in four for the first time since the opening month of the A-League season. See what his team can do with this free kick. Tom Aldred trying to cause mischief in that towards Aldred. Matt Yerman trying to get it away and it's poked into the back of the net by Scott McDonald, who has his first goal in Brisbane Raw Colours, the 11th club for whom he has netted in a storied career. What a start for Brisbane Raw, just their fourth first half goal of the entire season. a complete reversal of what we've been used to seeing from Brisbane this season. The intriguing bit, Cosy will be to see if they can carry it on in the second half, normally when they come to life. Here's Gillespie, useful ball in. Hingert was furthest forward. Here's O'Shea. And now McDonald's. Inman top of the box. Further left is Gillespie. Cross deflected, tap in. Scott McDonald at the double, but the flag is up and it's not going to count. Unless VAR rules in favour of Scott McDonald by the look on his face, he reckons he knows the game is up. Be an interesting call, this one. It's got to be awfully close. Chris Griffiths-Jones in uh, the VAR booth, clearly in conversation with Chris Beef at the moment as they just run over those pictures again. They've given the goal. Thought it was close. They've given the goal. Scott McDonald with two. He's had to wait a while. They're coming like buses now. Cross did take a touch off the defender. Last minute of the first half. They get a third here. It's an awful long way back for the Wanderers. It is Jay O'Shea. It's off the woodwork with Lopar beaten. Totally deceived. The Wanderers goalkeeper was probably thinking it was going to be McCauley Gillespie and instead it was Jay O'Shea. Chance for Brisbane to move on to fifth spot on the ladder if they can uh, win tonight. They're in a good position to do that. Here's Jay O'Shea. McDonald. A hat-trick, of course, Scott McDonald. Looking for some movement from Hingertz. He gets around Cordier. Stolen away, though, by Schwiegler. And there could be a chance of a counter here if Simon Cox is quick enough. Mitch Duke on his bike. Fed now by Schwiegler. Muller is at the back post. Duke on the charge, Mitch Duke near post, Wanderers back in it. Terrific finish by Mitch Duke. They haven't had many chances tonight, but Mitch Duke has buried that one, and he joins Oriol Riera and Mark Bridge as being the only two Wanderers to score in five consecutive A-League games, and it's his 11th of the season. Gowan, oh, it was a heavy touch by Dylan McGowan, and Brisbane could be away here. It's Brad Inman, one-on-one -on -one with Yerman. Still Inman, oh, it's got to be a penalty. Matt Yerman, and it's a yellow card as well. Deemed a football challenge by Yerman, but he had to go for the ball. Mistimed it, Brad Inman was just too quick. Responsibility handed to the Irishman. Can he beat Lopar from 11 metres? Jay O'Shea tucks it away. It's taken him 20 games, but he's finally off the mark for the penalty spots. And Brisbane's two-goal cushion is restored. And probably deserve it as well, you'd say, Simon, given the way that they've played and gone about this game. Even though in this second half, the Wanderers have got back in a little bit but they've still managed to, to keep their shape raw. They did well to get forward here. 
Brisbane Roar's best night of the season so far. Jay O'Shea on the score sheet in the A-League for the first time. Scott McDonald on the score sheet for the first time as a Brisbane Roar player with a double. They were the goals for the Roar that sealed the deal. Mitch Duke with the response for the Wanderers at the other end. His 11th of the season, but mere consolation. Robbie Fowler can take huge pride in that performance.